thermometers. We're going to be talking about them in much more details. Now, but before we start discussing about how they work, we need to first understand how they are calibrated. So when I say calibrated, it means what units are their measurements taken? So remember, we said that a thermometer is an instrument for measuring temperature. So to get the temperature of the body, you use a what? A thermometer. So first of all, when you me measure the temperature of the body, what are the units? What units can you say that the temperature is in? So for example, you could say that the temperature of a body is in Celsius. Okay, you can say it's in Celsius. Now, because we can say it's in Celsius, there is something called the Celsius scale. So there is Celsius scale. So what we are discussing now is the calibrations of what thermometer. So thermometers can be calibrated in Celsius scale. They can be calibrated in Fahrenheit scale. Fahrenheit scale. And they can also be calibrated in the Kelvin scale. So either you call it Kelvin or you call it thermodynamic thermodynamic scale. So these are the different scales you can calibrate thermometers. Your Celsius scale, your Fahrenheit scale, and your Kelvin watts or thermodynamic scale. These are the scales you can calibrate your um, thermometers at. Okay, so now that we have an idea of the scales that we can calibrate our thermometers, now we need to understand why do we need to have all this? Why? Why do we need to have three scales? Why don't we just use one? Well, the reason is because in the earliest days of temperature measurement, different people came up with different ways of measuring temperature. Okay. Now, in order not to remove one and not um, take the other one, or maybe take one and not take the other one, we have to just accommodate everybody because everybody has a solid reason why their method is, was the best. Okay. So, Celsius became the most popular. Okay, so to measure temperatures in degrees Celsius or degree C, it became the most popular. Now, at some point, we had the Fahrenheit scale, which is degrees what? F. Okay, and of course, we now have the Kelvin or thermodynamic scale, which is in what? Kelvin. Make sure you don't add degrees. There's no degrees here, just Kelvin. Okay, so these are the three scales of calibration of uh, the thermometer. Now, whenever we are calibrating a thermometer in any of this scale pay attention in any of this scale that we are calibrating the thermometer there are two different temperatures or two important temperatures you should look out for there are two important temperatures you will look out for so in exam they will ask you based on these three scales what is they will ask you for lower fixed points so they will ask you for the lower fixed points okay they will ask you for the lower fixed point, or if they don't call it lower fixed point, they will call it highest point. And number two, they will ask you for upper fixed point. Upper fixed point. If they don't ask you upper fixed point, they will call it steam point. So, what is lower fixed point and what is upper fixed point? Now, when we say lower fixed point or ice point, lower fixed point or ice point is the temperature at which water freezes for that scale. It is the temperature for which water freezes for that scale. That means for that particular scale, and what scale are we referring to? The Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin scale. At what temperature does water freeze in that what scale? Then when we say upper fixed point, upper fixed point is at what temperature? It is what the temperature at which water boils. It is the temperature at which water boils for that particular scale. So when we say upper fixed point, it means we are asking at what temperature does water boil for that given scale? That is what upper fixed point signifies. But lower fixed point signifies at what temperature does water freeze at that particular one? Okay, at that particular scale. So freeze, boil, freeze, boil. That is the difference. Now, for the Celsius scale, the lower fixed point, at what temperature does water freeze? Water freezes at zero degrees C. So for Celsius, for Celsius scale, for Celsius scale, it has a lower fixed point. LFP is equal to zero degrees. And then UFP, upper fixed point, is 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, so for Celsius scale, the lower fixed point is zero, 
upper fixed point is 100 degrees Celsius. Then for Fahrenheit scale, lower fixed point for Fahrenheit, lower fixed point is equal to 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And then upper fixed point is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Then for the Kelvin scale, for the Kelvin scale, upper fixed point, upper fixed point, okay, sorry, let's talk about lower first. So lower fixed point is equal to 273 Kelvin, and then upper fixed point is 373 Kelvin. So these are what we know. So for um, Celsius scale, lower fixed point is zero, meaning that water will freeze at zero degrees Celsius here. Then upper fixed point, 100 degrees Celsius, meaning that water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius for the Celsius scale. Then for the Fahrenheit scale, water will freeze at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and water will boil at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. For the Kelvin scale, water will freeze at 273 Kelvin and water will boil at 373 Kelvin. So with that all said, it means that I can come up and say that the boiling point of water is 373 Kelvin. And I'm correct. Why am I correct? Because I am using the Kelvin scale. So for the Kelvin scale, upper fixed point, which is the temperature water will boil, is 373 Kelvin. Now, somebody might come out and say that the freezing point of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Is the person correct? Yes, the person is correct. Because the person is making use of the Fahrenheit word scale. If it was a Celsius, the person would have been wrong. If the person said this 32 degrees Celsius, it is wrong. Because 32 degrees Celsius is a different temperature. Okay? Now, but if I say zero degrees Celsius, that would be correct because that is the freezing point of water. So this is what we should know first off about thermometers. They are calibrated in three different scales. Okay, now that we know that they are calibrated in three different scales and we know their upper and lower fixed points, we are now going to see the intercompatibility between these scales. Now, not only that, we are going to also see questions, how we can convert between one scale and the other. And once we know how to do all that, then we solve questions, okay? Then after the questions, we now talk about how thermometers actually measure temperature. And I will see you in the next video.